Hey, welcome back. How is it going? In this video, we're going to take a look at Doctran and Langchain and learn how we can extract properties from documents. First, let's think why this is helpful. Well, companies all around the world have constantly to deal with unstructured data, which means they receive emails or they send out invoices and then they need to extract certain information from this data. And that's often very difficult. And for that, we can also leverage the power of large language models. And here's an example for that. At first, we need to import a few libraries like JSON to extract from the JSON file, or actually the data from the JSON file. And we use document from Langchain library, as well as the doctrine property extractor, which is based also on large language model. Then we need to set our OpenAI API key, which you can do in here. And then you need some sample text. And this is a sample text I copied from their documentation, so from Langchain directly. So there you can also find the code as well if you want to take a look at that. And you see that this is an email. Think about this as an email which you receive, and then it's your job to at first classify what kind of document is this, what is the main purpose or question of this email, what are the main uh, persons relevant in this email, and so on. So this kind of data. And of course, if you do this manually, and that takes a lot of time. But for that, you only need to do, or what you need to do basically is to actually first put this text in a document. So document class from Langchain, as you can see up down there, there it is, with the page content, and then we simply refer to the sample text. And then very important, you need to specify the properties. In this case, in this list in Python, which is then consists of dictionaries. Uh, but the main point is that you will need to tell uh, the extractor what you need to extract or what you want to extract from the text. And you can see here, they're specified here, there's a name, what kind of category is this, description, what kind of email is this. And then you give it a data type, as well as here, uh, possible options to choose. So the language model can then decide, is it an update email on certain points in the past? Is it something, an action item? Is it a customer feedback? And so on. So this is something you can specify, depending on what kind of uh, well, data uh, you want to analyze, of course, right? And then whether this is required or not. And the same is true then for the other things. For instance, here, a list of people mentioned in this email when you want to extract the names of the persons, which is done here. And then this is a type of array because you want from the person itself, you want to have the full name, you want to have description here for the name itself and what kind of data time it is. So it's simply uh, items for what you want to extract from the person. So of course, if this is, for instance, a sign up and someone has to enter his email, uh, sorry, not his email, but what I want to say his age, for instance, then of course, this could also be part of this array. And then finally here, which is very kind of interesting, it's an Eli 5 here. It's just referring to the description. So explain, uh, like I'm five years old, what is actually the content? What is the goal of this email, right? So this email to me. So, and all, again, it's this type of string because it's a text value which is returned. And then you specify the doctrine uh, doc property extractor and you specify the properties, which is exactly here specified. So what do you want from this LLM? And they also specify what kind of uh, model you want to use. In this case, I'm using the free one. But of course, you can also specify GPT-4 if you have access to that. And then you just extract it using, uh, in this case, um, the A transform method. So that's why I need to put in a weight for that because it's uh, synchronous. And uh, then basically you just print the results here. Of course, you could also save this now in a database, anything like that. But uh, here they just print it as json.dumps and then you see the extracted information here. So for instance, a category, it's an update email and the mentions here are the important uh, names or the persons relevant for this email and then the Eli 5. So the email provides updates on security and privacy measures and so on and so on, right? So that is basically it. So very interesting um, so how we can extract using large language models uh, data from unstructured data like emails, for instance. And I think if this is gonna be used in, uh, in companies, uh, this has a lot of potential because it simply can uh, speed up processes, it can reduce manual work and so on. So if you enjoyed it, uh, then give this video a like. Also feel free to share it. And if you have not done so far, then please subscribe to the channel to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care. See you in the next video.